Oh, Rainbow Goober. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. We kind of got lucky here. I'm not going to lie. Mainly because we have Leaf Badge. If we get one Acorn Collar, that'll be enough. Plus, this can help us out with the uh, getting infinite uh, empowerment, right? So, we can roll for a... Uh, um, for a... Uh, for Acorn. Once we get the Acorn, we'll take this out. Not sell it, right? But, you know, we'll stop rolling with it. But I just want one singular Acorn. And that'll be crits. We'll have the empowerment. Like, we kind of got really lucky with getting this this first round. So, we're probably going to roll with that. Yeah, Leaf Badge for Acorn next. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Exactly. Make the shovel. Shovel wouldn't be bad, actually. Shovel wouldn't be bad. Sure, we'll make the shovel. We're probably going to lose this first round, though. But maybe that's okay. They're also making a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We're prepping. Alright. Let's get space here. Honestly. Getting a short bow. 1.3. I mean, we don't have any bananas. Maybe it's not a great choice. With six gold, I kind of want to roll for at least one banana or another like sword uh, shell totem situation. Should I even go for like a bunch of shell totems? What do you guys think? Or should I not? Also, I got to focus on getting the infinite empowerment. No, we can't spend extra money like that. We need to get four. Uh, we need to get four healing herbs so we can instant proc the uh, the heart container to even start off getting infinite empowerment. Right? That's like really important. It's like really really important health potion should we get health potion or should we get healing herbs you now we could do now that i think about it if we get lucky there's other ways of getting the empowerment slash regeneration because one health potion one of the upgraded health potions gives you um three regeneration so if we can proc this twice by using potions under it then we'll have six regeneration at the start of the game and that'll insta proc the heart container and that we only need one healing herb for that we just need one health potion one healing herb and then find two other potions versus getting four healing herbs because four healing herbs that's 16 gold one health potion and one healing herb that's eight gold versus 16 gold right but at the same time we have to buy those two other potions which more than likely would just be stone these, these guys because you could proc these at the start of the game just have an armor boom insta proc get those a proc and then you get this to proc but at the same time that's a lot of space being used and that's the case we can honestly use a hero potion maybe instead potentially possibly maybe what do you guys think what route should we go you're a totem hater. Oh my god. Have fortune can pivot. Uh could be a pivot point to mana torch if Thorn Bloom fails. It sounds really complicated when you just pop a stamina potion. <laughs> I mean, you could just pop a stamina potion, but the stamina potion isn't gonna pop at the start of the game. That's the issue. It needs to, we literally need three or more empowerment at the very beginning of the game only way to use stamina potions for that is literally the exact same concept except you put stuff you know you, you just don't use this or the heart container which that saves money heart container yeah that saves money so you just use this i mean sorry you would just use two of these with one of those and you get two empowerment at the start of the game and then you can use the uh you can use this as well so you can get the card flip this that's the one empowerment it's the proctor stone skin potions with your uh stand potion but at the same time we're going to go for a thorn bloom we literally need to use this for this and we might not even find that many of these and we're trying to have two of these right which means we would need three heroic potions i don't want to try to gamba and get three heroic potions for this so i don't think that's the best play so i think we should just go for heart containers right And yeah, I think we should just go for hard containers. 
or just one heart container and then just go for like healing herbs i feel like that's the best play either healing herbs or honestly bro we could just rock holy armor like for real since we're already going for shell totems these are holy items instead of like spending money on healing herbs we could just spend like money on the uh on that guy on the holy armor and then use the shell totems to get the empowerment i mean to get the um the regeneration to insta proc this heart container what do you guys think or should we do like what do you guys think is the best um route for this lovers can definitely heart act as yeah lovers can act as a uh, it can act as two healing herbs <laughs> potion replacement should be more expensive i could see both ranger and pyro with rng being paid actress but how are we going to max stone on reaper we ain't getting past 30 to 40 empowerment 99% of the time. Uh, yeah. Depends how tanky you are. Against me, you would get 200 if you don't die. I had people getting almost 200 empowerment versus me with infinite empowerment. You ain't getting stone stacking with this type of crazy heal. Let's be real. Nah, keep faith. 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 And it's still worse uh, than what you get in it on ranger nah keep faith i think it'll work i'm a believer maybe in rank maybe yeah we're just doing this in your unranked <laughs> we're just doing this in rank this build definitely won't be able to survive in ranked so definitely unranked only i think we just keep it like we yeah i think we just go healing herbs lovers cards it's a hard container i don't think we go into like the the potion stacking situation uh i don't think it'll be worth the only way it's worth is if we find a leather armor on sale. And even then, it's kind of like, meh. I don't know if I would go herbs if you miss some by lovers. And if you get holy armor on sale, then rock with it. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Because he mentioned getting like the health potion, but I'm trying to conserve my gold right now. I'm not really trying to buy, even though this would be, you know, solid to buy and it would be good. But like, I don't, I don't want to, really, you know, if it was on sale, I'd definitely get it. But. I don't know about for four gold, to be honest. I think I pass on and just try to stick with healing herbs. TBH. See, look at that. Healing herb on sale. We'll take it. First stone of the day. We'll take that too. Um, I guess we'll do like one more roll. See what we get. Hmm. That's okay. We could also invest into a clause of attack. That might help as well. Like in the mid game or whatnot. It's a little expensive. Eight gold, you know, eight gold weapon, but. That or a hungry blade or even both would be really good too. But I say we just roll with this. I'll probably we'll get nine gold next round. We're, we definitely need space. Space is a no-brainer. Um, we'll take banana as well, just for the stamina usage. And I'm debating on going for this claws of attack or not. I actually don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go for claws. <laughs> not. A, I mean, if I see a walrus tusk on sale, I'll go for it. Or if I see some gloves on sale, I'll go for it. But like, just how it is now, I don't want to. Ouch. All right, boom. And we got another one on sale. That's really good. Okay. We got our acorn collar. That's really, really good. Now we just need a bag of stones. Buy both of those next round. Well, damn, we're going to be broke. I mean, we got a whole free leather bag here. Maybe we don't buy this leather bag. Maybe we just buy this acorn collar next round. And then try to go for a, uh, a bag of stones or something. I think they'd be great. I think we lose this oil lamp on a burning plate with a chili pepper. Our DPS kind of blows without this bag of stones, honestly. Our survivability isn't any, any better. Oof. Hungry Blade is going to help us out a lot here. TBH. I could get it now, sell the shovel, get it, well. 
Actually, I can't get it now. I mean, yes, I could get it now, but maybe it's not a great choice. I don't know. Definitely get in next round. But I think we, uh, I think we sell the shovel. So we're at a 1.3. We can't rock both of these. So I'm thinking we sell shovel next round and get the hungry blade. Going crazy with these four impairments. <laughs> Cheese Goober mask backing spike staff. I guess Ranger has carrots with bowl. Maybe not everything, but but most. I don't know what I would rock on. I don't know. I was thinking about rocking Clover if I were to rock a Ranger. TBH. Bag of stones. We have so many stones. Oh, a shit ton of stones. Absurd amount of stones. Actually considering stone golem, but that wouldn't help us out at all. To be honest. Alright, sorry stone, but goodbye. We get this hungry blade. And we're also going to get these two. There's a holy armor. It's probably too early for the holy armor, right? I mean, we already got double healing herbs. I mean, it wouldn't hurt though. Like, we wouldn't have to go for the lover's cars or anything. And we already got like this shell totem here. We got a shiny shell. That'd be an extra two regeneration. That's all the regeneration we would need. I don't know. I'm not sure if that would be a good play or not. It's just 13 gold though. Like, it's pretty fucking expensive. What do you guys think? Would it be a good play? Would it not be a good play? trying to figure out how to okay that's i don't know how to use this leaf badge oh wait i forgot shell totem can't crit <laughs> i'm over here trying to use it on the shell totem okay nah that's not gonna work that is not going to work. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll just do something like this. I guess for now, Hungry Blade is probably the best thing to crit. Mega is a good option in my opinion. The easiest to get, at least, it is the easiest to get, to be honest. Long sword. <laughs> nah, we're, we'll probably be fine. We have a lot of survivability, I, I feel, because of the, uh, the vampirism. Nice. Okay, um... It's round six. We're pretty deep in these rounds, honestly. Pretty much zero chance you can scale Empowerment Reaper if I- Oh, I read that already. My fault. <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. My fault. That's what I would do. 3x lamps on Mega. 100% crit. 3x lamps is hard. 2x is more sensible assumption. I did two and a half in second try. <laughs> Yeah, man, I had two and a half lamps on my second try. Let's go. We've, every single healing herb we've bought has been on sale. I just realized that. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, should we get blueberries? For a clover generation? I think so. Haven't found the items we need though. I haven't found a thorn bloom. I mean a thorn whip. Haven't found a stamina potion. We're pretty much just only gonna be rocking this for real. Unless we find one of the two. A 
Okay, I mean, at least we got clovers at the start of the game. Mana orb is pretty decent um, to help out the blueberries getting the to 10 mana. So it can start generating clovers as well. Like our clover generation is okay. Leaf badge, blueberry, like it's not horrible, I don't think. But surely. <laughs> Damn, we're probably gonna get infinite mana now that I think about it. Because with this setup, I guess we could, like, technically get infinite vampirism or healing herbs. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting situation we're in right now. But we definitely don't want infinite mana. That would just be sucky. But I mean, we're starting off with two, four, six healing herbs and two clovers. And that's just going to turn into more healing herbs and vampirism. The only issue would be getting the uh, the infinite mana. That would be bad. Don't want infinite mana. But maybe we just rock it like this and see what happens. Maybe we won't get infinite mana, or at least not that bunch of infinite mana. Let's see. So regeneration, and then we're just going to stack up regeneration. But that mana nammer is getting up there. Nah, we're getting infinite. Well, I, I guess it'll switch over eventually, right? Well, I, I guess not. <laughs> I guess we just get infinite regeneration, which just turns to infinite uh, vampirism. This kind of helps, actually. It helps a lot. Um, Lover's card wouldn't be bad here because we still need to get the uh, the four vamp. So Lover's card wouldn't be horrible. Honestly, another bag of stones wouldn't be bad. We do have the stone situation going on, right? So like that wouldn't be bad. Just rock like so many bag of stones, bro. Why not? I don't think we need more than well, definitely we definitely need more than two misfortunes, but not right now. I think two misfortunes for what setup we have right now is perfectly fine. I think we just need to find that fucking stamina potion and a thorn whip. You know what I mean? Just find those two and we'll be fine. But like we have enough clover generation, I think, to support two misses struggles. As of right now. But I suppose it would be better if we managed to get infinite vampirism versus infinite regeneration. But I don't know how like feasible that realistically would be. Oh, wow. On sale is very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So will you insta proc? You won't, but we can get you to proc. But after you proc, we'll probably get infinite mana. Maybe we should take the mana orb out. Because listen, we're going to get the healing herbs at the start of the game. And we're getting clover from you. That's going to proc this, giving us more regeneration. This is going to insta proc. So we're going to have like two empowerment maybe one or two vampirism no because we start with two vampirism no we start with one vampirism from this and this procs at 2.6 i mean 2.1 this procs at 1.6 this is going to take one of the regeneration and turn that into vampirism so we have two vampirism and then the giraffes are going to use this towards more vampirism that'll proc it'll be it'll be a fight between vampirism empowerment and regeneration of which one we get infinitely and i'm not sure which one's going to win not sure.
Uh, I kind of want to keep this shiny shell just to reduce, to reduce stamina on the shell totem, honestly. I mean, we're at a 1.2. This is better. We're at a 1.2. Like a 1.2 is not bad. Not to mention we already have a banana and then we're inside a relic case, right? So I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'll take it. Okay, let's see what happens here. Interesting build, dude, Scott. Okay, so, boom. Now, that turns into a vampirism. Clover's, we insta proc. Okay, so we're just getting infinite vampirism then. And honestly, it's probably because of uh, amulet of, of uh, energy here, because this is supposed to use up seven, but it definitely didn't use up seven. We definitely got some of that seven back at us. Which I guess is okay. Wow. We got crit for a 32 at the, what the fuck? Whatever. I'll take that L. Getting crit for a 32 is nutty. That's one way to get infinite vamp, but no, we don't want infinite vamp though. We are not getting lucky with the items we need right now, are we? Okay. We got the thorn whip. This is going to be very expensive because we need this and we need that. Realistically, I want to get this this round to turn it into a dark, uh, a dark heart. That would be ideal. Yeah, the fool's card does give you one empowerment. I don't know if that one empowerment would help though. Why don't you speed up another item with Mr. Struggles? What? Oh, you mean like speed up two items at the same time? I was just being lazy, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I didn't do that. How am I gonna get the seven gold? Do I have to sell the shell totem? Amulets with ton of armor. What amulets though? Which amulets? You never scale empowerment. It would be harder, but we, I mean, we won't infinitely scale it considering, but, uh, we need to have the dark crystal. For sure. I mean, we could still scale empowerment. We would just like 100% chance need to have the dark crystal. So I think I'm gonna sell this just to get this guy. I move you here. Okay. I think that works. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna lose to this. I honestly feel like I'm about to lose to this. Did you guys see that? Hold up, let me look at this log, bro. Okay. Use one, blah, 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 gain seven. It felt like I didn't use any regeneration to proc this hard container. That's why I keep looking at it. Like it literally felt like I just didn't use any. I guess the misfortunes are just going crazy. They did gain me six. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens when this heart of darkness situation uh, comes into the play, I guess. It's gonna be an interesting game. He's got empowerment, nine empowerment, eleven empowerment. So that sword and that dagger are gonna do a shit ton of damage to us. But I mean, we're gonna have a lot of regeneration on our side, at least. 
Look at that, 37 damage. Not to mention he's got Primatic Orb. Okay, we're fine. Okay, now we have Corrupted uh, Heart. We're going to need this regardless, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Because I know I'm going to need it. We can put both of these down in hopes of getting this. Okay. What's the plan here? I also think you need to get rid of the amulet. I was thinking that too because it's kind of griefing us in a way. Kind of. I mean, ultimately, what we need to do is insta proc the crown. I mean, not the crown, the heart of darkness. We need to insta proc this. If we don't insta proc this, it kind of ruins everything because the giraffes are just going to give us more regeneration. And that ruins basically ruins everything if we insta proc this we start to get him up with four empowerment and one regeneration and then the giraffes give us infinite empowerment but since we start the game off with six we're missing one so then the giraffes are going to give us infinite regeneration instead even when this does proc and use up seven we're getting more back like we save two from the amulet energy so we have four um, regenerate or four empowerment. We have two regeneration, but we also have additional generation from the giraffes giving us like because both of these proc realistically, so we end up getting six additional regeneration at the start of the game. So we start with this six and then we get additional six, so that's 12. This uses up seven, so we have five versus four, and then amul of energy. It's so like, I don't know, even I feel like even if we remove amulet energy, we're still going to get infinite regeneration because of that. Unless we remove a giraffe, but like, I don't really want to do that. But we realistically need to roll for another healing herb or we need to get that. Uh, we need to get that heart. You still have more regeneration and empowerment. I think I agree. We definitely do, unfortunately. Um, I think we just W key. I think the better play here. Is to sell to Hungry Blade. And get this and just get the combination. Get the combination versus get the combination now versus later. And then I think we just try to W key for another healing herb or we get that card. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We could try again, but I feel like that's literally our only option or our best option at the very least. Even though our build is going to be worse because we're not going to have the vampirism. That's going to suck. This is definitely a worse weapon, worse or whatever weapon. Unless we literally rock both of weapons at the exact same time, which I mean might be feasible. Maybe we're at a 1.6. Got the banana. Then we'll have a stamina potion on the side. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Should we sell the Hungry Blade? Or should we keep it and get the combination? But we have to sell like four gold worths of items. Which I don't even know what we would sell, honestly. We can get rid of Shiny Shell, but what else can we get rid of? I mean, we could get rid of Bag of Stones, but once we have Infinite Empowerment, that's going to suck more. I'm not sure. Why do I have a mana orb? It's for uh, clovers. It's literally just to get the, uh, the it's, it's to get to the 10 mana threshold faster so that the blueberries can generate clovers for the giraffes. It does nothing for us right now and it griefs us right now, actually. That's why I don't have it in the board. But that's really the only reason. I bought it on sale for three gold. So I was like, you know. You think we'll have plenty of clovers? I mean, we definitely have plenty of clovers right now for two misfortunes, but if we have 
five misfortunes. We could always buy this later. I'll sell it now and then sell this and then do that. I'll just do that. Because I think you're right. <laughs> We're not using it right now, so fuck it. In that case, we'll rock both of these. I have faith. We'll rock both of these. We have a banana. We got relic case for the 5% less stamina usage. And we have a stamina potion. What can go wrong? I was trying to put the crit on both of these, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do because I also needed to be inside the relic case, right? I'm trying to have everything inside the relic case and also have the crit on top of that. I guess we'll just have to go with this. Nah, there's gotta be a way. There's a way. There's a way. There's a way. Hold up. There's gotta be a way. What is? I don't know. Cause the bag of stones can't fit in there, and I want the bag of stones in there for the five percent extra damage. The stones can utilize that five percent in additional damage, right? We literally just had this. Wait. No, this could work. Maybe. If I did this and that, that would work. And if we could fit like one stone, I guess. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, but at least I got both of the crits on both items. And you know, the majority of what I have is inside of the relic case. Because if I move this over here, the crit's not gonna touch both weapons, which would be bad. Unless I move this up and then no. I still don't think it touches both of the weapons. Yeah. This is most important though, because that's 5%. Why does this 2%? Uh, I guess we could do, I don't know which one would be better. What do you guys think would be better? We could do like one stone and then do that or the alternative. I don't know which one would be better. Lead badge only gives two percent anyways. Collar is what matters. Chira Ooh, chira We got three slots left over. I guess we didn't really have space for this one single stone anyways. So we'll just go with this. All right, we'll just go with this. Please don't go get something. Oh, well, I mean, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. This sucks, though. The removing of two regeneration at the start of the game. Well, at, not at the start of the game, but at 1.8, that means my it, it hits before my giraffes can proc. So this might not ever proc, which is going to suck a lot. If that never procs, that's going to suck because he's going to remove here. OK, proc. Thank God, giraffes. Oh, we're getting infinite empowerment. Holy crap. OK, we're getting infinite empowerment because of Ripshaw Blade. I think we get infinite empowerment here and then we just destroy. Wow. Because of Ripshaw Blade removing our excess regeneration, I think. Because they removed it and then the heart procced. And we're at 4-4. Four, four. If it never removed that regeneration, we would have had more regeneration than empowerment. 
Now we do have more regeneration in the power right here. What happened? He hit us again. <laughs> he definitely just hit us again and then removed it. And that's when we started gaining the uh, infinite empowerment. <laughs> Thanks, Ripshaw Blade. I appreciate that. We needed that. Thanks, buddy. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ripshaw. I, <laughs> every single Ripshaw Blade I see, I'm going to be happy now. But we're at another dilemma. Because ultimately, we want to go double Thorn Bloom, right? Like, ultimately, we want double Thorn Bloom. So we need this other Thorn Whip. So old eight gold. And our build is still kind of scuffed because we don't insta practice Heart of Darkness. But I'm scared that we won't see another Thorn Whip if we pass up right now. I mean, we could buy this, have six gold left over and roll six times. Right? Like, maybe. Maybe that's the right choice. Opening both lives to make you more money. <laughs> hey, Tana. Thank you. <laughs> you definitely don't see another whip. Could roll five times. Let's get it. Well, we're going to get it. If there's any time to get it, it's now. And the only thing we need is one more healing herb or um, lovers. That's what we're looking for right now. One more healing herb. Does that help us? Hold up. Would this be valid? Would it make a difference? That one extra empowerment. We still get infinite regeneration though, right? I was tied 4-4 after the proc. I mean, we were going against a Ripshaw Blade. The Ripshaw Blade, like, procced twice and removed four regeneration from us. And that's why. If it wasn't for the Ripshaw Blade, we definitely would not have gone Infinite Empowerment that game. You don't think it helps? Maybe take out a herb? Nah, it still wouldn't work. Because if we take out all the herbs, we're going to just have two clovers at the start and we're going to get infinite clovers instead of uh, empowerment. It'll take the two and turn into more. <laughs> it's empowerment, which you're trying to scale. Yeah, but the only reason we would ever buy this is if it guarantees us to get infinite empowerment. Otherwise, it's just not going to help. That one singular empowerment is not going to help unless it helps us get infinite. Just take one herb out. So we take one herb out and we buy this. Let's do the math here. We start with two clovers for empowerment. Both of the drafts are going to proc, giving us six healing herbs. So we're at six healing herbs. This procs. So now we're at three healing herbs. That actually might work. Three healing herbs for empowerment. And this will guarantee a fifth empowerment. Uh, it's slower, but it works. But it works. It does work. I didn't think about that. It does. <laughs> He's crystallized. Chris, y'all are in two separate chats. Floor, I want you to know crystallize is yelling at you. He's like, don't buy that crap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> the unholy ghost. It'd be silly not to take it in your opinion. Y'all are literally like, <laughs> y'all are on two sides of the fence. One is saying, don't buy it, it's dumb. And the other one is like, I think it would be super silly if you were to just not get it. Which one will it be? Spooky also says, don't buy it. Floor in unholy ghost versus spooky and crystallized chat fight twitch versus youtube <laughs> right oh crystallized brought up a good point hungry blade will use the regeneration which is actually good because we need infinite empowerment 
Oh, you're right. And a thorn bloom might be able to give us the extra empowerment too. That's going to be tricky though, because thorn bloom procs at 2.1. So this is giraffe. So which one is going to proc first? And also it's a 60% chance. Mm -hmm. It's a gamba. It's a gamba. But okay. So at the start of the game, we're going to get one less healing herb. Okay. Let's say we have this in there, right? So we have six, two of these, both of these proc. We're going to have 12. Right, but we gotta mention Hungry Blade is gonna hit at 1.6. So realistically, we're gonna have 11. And in this prox, and we're gonna have four regeneration and four empowerments. But not to mention, we have Amul of Energy, which is gonna give us more regeneration. So we're just gonna have more regeneration than we're gonna have empowerment. Even if this does give us a 60%, I think on average, this, saves, this gives us like two healing herbs back. Because this uses 7, you know what I mean? 25% of 7 is like a 1.5 or whatever. 1.75? I don't know. Leaf Badge Clover, you're conveniently ignoring that. Oh, this does give us a, yeah, 2.3, it does. But I mean, the, the giraffes are going to proc before this gives us that one Clover. I don't know. Maybe we just reserve it. Because, like, if we just get the lover's card, that pretty much solves everything, right? So maybe we reserve it and just roll. I forgot about energy. Yeah, this is gonna. This is like a guarantee one to two healing herbs on this prox. I say we buy the scythe. It's on sale. It looks good, so it's a good deal. <laughs> oh my god. Why unranked? It's because we're trying to do a challenge and not trying to... Because this this is definitely doesn't win the game. Like, this is definitely not a build you want to climb rank with. We're just trying to do the stone challenge. Get the highest DPS possible on a stone. And uh, if we want to do that, we definitely can't go against good builds. <laughs> or not as good builds, at least. But yeah, that's why we're playing unranked. It works without energy, but I don't know about with energy. Like he literally gave us a second one. That's insane. That's insane. You didn't even screenshot your last round with 20 empowerment. Why would I need the screenshot it, sir? I don't want to buy this. I'm going to be honest. I really don't. I'd much rather just go for the lover's cards. That's just a no ball move. That's why we lose. Might be the highest damage stone you get this run. Nah, if it's not round 18, it's not the highest. <laughs> okay, maybe round like 16, 17, 18, because you might go against counter builds, right? So 16, 17, 18, I think are like the rounds. I'm just going to I'm just going to like not get it. I'm just not going to get it. And we're just going to try to go for another healing herb or lovers. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Three of them in a row is insane. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm lost so hard when you're one off. <laughs> the game is trying to help you and give you the cards you need. Literally gave me three to and the game was like, you're going to need this, take it. What are you doing? Stop, here's another one. All right, here's another one. <laughs> um, We should win this, right? I guess we could use this round for science, see what happens. So we start with six, two luck, one of vampirism. This guy's gonna go off using one of those. Giraffes are gonna go off. Insta proc. Wait, we actually got infinite empowerment. How? How? What happened here? Used one. So one of Misfortune's procs. 
Heart of Darkness. We gained two regeneration because of the amulet, and we got four. So the timing. That all happened within a tenth of a second. This started at 2.5. It ended at 2.15. When the Misfortune used one of the Clovers to gain three empowerment. I think it was the Thorn Bloom. I think it was the Thorn Bloom giving us that extra empowerment, right? I mean, we have three right here, so. Because that would have been four and that's five, right? Because we gained a total of 11 and used a total of eight. So we just have three left over. So we end up with three and four. At the end of the session, we end up with three regeneration and four empowerment, regardless of it, wh whatever happens right now. I mean, even without this. No, we need we need this. Yeah, we need this. Because if this this is a sixty percent chance this happens. If this doesn't happen, then we only have four, right? And then misfortune. I don't know. I don't know if we got lucky or if that'll happen one hundred percent of the time. I actually have no clue. I've got no idea if we just got lucky right there, or that's just something that will guarantee happen one hundred percent of the time. Because I feel like the, the, the Thorn Bloom had like something to do with it because it did give us that extra empowerment. But we also only had three regeneration. So like, I actually don't know. Ten a second. <laughs> it is only a single ten damage a second. <laughs> All right, that helps. All right. I'm gonna take you. I think Thornbloom saves you, but yeah, you you have three. So I I feel like Hungry Blade probably helps too, because Hungry Blade removes one of those healing herbs. But now that we have this and this Instaprox, we're fine. I'm actually contemplating taking a Hungry Blade out and just rocking uh, infinite empowerment with stones in one single Thorn Bloom. Will that work on round four? if the card is worse you had it working just barely now you have two extra regeneration no hungry blade to eat it up i think it's better well yeah because we'll have eight at the start this uses up seven so we'd be left over with only one regeneration we'll have one regeneration and four empowerment i mean unless we go against a build that nullifies buffs that has the uh, corrupted uh, helmet and then you know amulet energy is kind of griefing us as well those are the only things that we're kind of afraid of. Or a reverse card would be really bad too. But that's really about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of Hungry Blade here. And just be a little bit ballsy. See what happens. See what happens. Okay, we're going to get some burst bills, so we'll probably lose regardless. So there's that. <laughs> but I guess we can see what happens with, with the buffs at least. Okay, cool. Awesome. 
And Thorn Bloom also gave us that extra empowerment. I don't know if the extra empowerment really mattered, but it did give us the extra empowerment, so that was really nice. Our clover generation is nutty. We def I, I was not expecting to win that. I might just I don't I don't know. I feel like this is doing too much damage right now. I'm looking for more uh, misfortunes. That's kind of what we need right now is more misfortunes. Now, can he find space, right? <laughs> Great sword, you definitely lose. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting to lose that. Great sword with piercing arrow, bro. Like, what? And we still ended up winning? I guess because of all the maximum health we were getting. And that kind of just, like, W'd us. I'm just gonna put this down without the stones i guess i mean we'll still have the stones right but we'll rearrange next round next round we will rearrange i know it looks very dumb right now and it's probably gonna look dumb for this next game but next round i promise we will rearrange next round All right, we're rearranging next round. Looks very dumb. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Rearrange next round. <laughs> 114 damage. 114 damage is critical. <laughs> okay. I'm selling this. I don't want those two. Um... Honestly, this wouldn't be bad since we do have, we kind of do have four blueberries for no reason. So I'll get that. Giraffe is obviously a good choice. Space is never bad. I kind of want to be out of stamina, honestly. Like, I actually kind of want to be out of stamina. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to hit with these weapons. They do too much damage and it doesn't help the game last longer. Being out of stamina is good for me right now. I just want to put all the DPS on the stones. I think I don't want to like. Honestly, maybe we don't even put the weapons inside the relic case. I know we're griefing ourselves by doing this, but for the sake of the challenge, I believe this is the better play. Just strictly dickly focus on stones. That's our DPS. <laughs> and then we'll just have the utility down here of these guys. Okay. And then uh, we'll just have the rest of the everything else down here. a way for me to like kind of try to max out the heart of darkness and max out uh mr struggles here somehow i mean that gives me three i guess i'm fine with three crap <laughs> i guess in this instance we give rid of banana banana is just extra stamina that we don't want we want to stamp out. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds, we actually genuinely want to stamp out. We just want to 
prolong the battle as much as we possibly can, utilizing uh, infinite health and vulnerability, you know? So yeah, we just sell you. The more stamina we have, the more times those guys can hit, the faster the battle ends, the less DPS the stones will have. Infinite region now. Whoa, whoa, what changed? Where did we fuck up? This person doesn't even have anything that's taken a buffs away from us. So how and where did we fuck up? I actually don't know. I guess we're getting infinite regeneration now. We'll probably lose this due to that. But I don't know where we fucked up, actually. Do we still win? Wow. Thornbloom didn't hit. If only we have one empowerment from the fools. All right, actually, I want to see what happens here. So we have six. Oh, the card hasn't flipped yet. I was about to say card flips. The heart of darkness stole two regeneration. Wow. The heart of darkness stole two regeneration. Is it because is it because it's inside of the fanny pack? And it literally procs a point one percent faster than the misfortunes because it's in a fanny pack. Is that why? And because of that, it stole an extra regeneration. And we just have a five and a four and then infinite regeneration. Is that why? Literally just because of a fanny pack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, definitely get the fanny pack out of here. You shouldn't have speed apart so much. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I see. Speeding up the heart, I thought would help me, but no, it, it griefed me there. Even though we won, it's a griefer. Do we have enough clover generation for four misfortunes or no? I need your, your guys' synop synopsis. I'd like to get another heart or another crown, but I don't know if I don't know if that's worth. Like I don't know if we have enough clover or mono generation even for that, to be honest. Take off one dark from the heart. Oh, sh I forgot this makes it faster. No wonder it was so fast. I forgot. I thought it was only the fanny pack. No, it's because of the, the freaking dark items around it. Oh, shit. Okay. I forgot that literally makes it 20% faster. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's what griefed us. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good call. All right. How about that? You think four would be okay? Should we remove another one? Let's just remove another one. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. I don't think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Made the heart too corrupted. Why did I roll with you? Yeah. One should be enough. Just one dark item? Are you saying just do one dark item? How about that? <laughs> Straight up do no dark items. And a fanny pack. One single fanny pack. One 
1 10%. I mean, with all those dark items, we went from a four second to like a two point two second, right? So like, we can we can maybe add like, I f I feel like we'll be fine with one or two, as long as it's not like faster than two point one seconds, we're we're fine. Like we'll do that. We'll do two, as long as it's not faster than two point one seconds. Like a forty percent faster, that's gonna be like three seconds and some change, right? One dark item. All right, I'll trust Crystallize. I'll trust you. One dark item. Do you want to hear Fossa Boss opinion on this? <laughs> Lol. All right, let's see how fast it is. See, a 3.3, like... Oh my god. At least it's not a busted blade. At least it's not a busted blade, but... That's a lot of armored Corch puppies, man. That's a lot. That is a lot. Wow, so many pets, right? He may, you can have four stars on it. Oh. Okay, maybe I was confused then. Hey, we're getting infinite empowerment though, so that's good, I'm happy. 98 critical, don't like seeing that. I think we're lacking in Clover Generation. We definitely need more Clover Generation. Our Giraus aren't doing anything. So we gotta find something. We got I, I feel like we need a mana orb. Hell, even a toad would help. We just reached 10 mana for our <laughs> At the end of the game, we just reached 10 mana for our blueberries to start doing something. Maybe we don't use crown. Like, like maybe we just don't do crown. Because our blueberries literally aren't doing anything except helping our crown to proc, but like if we have so much maximum health, that or we get a mana orb. Like get rid of crown or get a mana orb. I feel like that's our only choices. We didn't see the DPS. Last round, last round. I should have did it that round, honestly, because we might go against a counter field and that's gonna suck. I should have did it that round. Getting a toad wouldn't like wouldn't be bad. I don't like crown, same. Or found toads, yeah. Toad might not be bad. I mean it gives us the clovers anyways that we need and also helps proc the crown faster. It'll proc at least two times before the glowing crown procs itself. So maybe a toad wouldn't be shitty. Get around 50 empowerment, so it wasn't that bad. Also, maybe we sell one stone and just rock one single stone. Maybe we just do this to minimize the DPS that we do. Overall, right? Because we only want the highest DPS possible on one stone. Having two stones means the enemy dies faster. So maybe we just rock one stone. We can get one stone, maybe buy this toad. That doesn't help us. Actually, it does. Now all the blueberries are going to be 40% faster. That's not bad. That means the crown is going to proc sooner. 40% sooner. You know what I mean? Like, this is a good alternative, I think. Froggy is the way I also agree. I like Froggy too. Now we just got to set up Froggy with... Because uh, this doesn't matter. These don't use up anything well they i mean they only gain but i'd rather just put all four star slots on the giraffes tbh let's do that and then we could put this like here so funny I guess it doesn't matter if you're in the backpack or not 
Okay, what are we thinking? Oh, sail the stamina back faster, stam out. That's based. The bird could help. That's based too. So we could sell the stam sack. We gotta figure out. Okay, that's a solid spot. We could do that. What about the giraffe? Giraffe needs to go somewhere. We do sell this. I mean, unless we do this. Uh, sure. Okay, there we go. I don't know where bird's gonna go though if we buy it. You like the bird over the crown? You think it will? I mean, maybe we'll have enough survivability realistically. We'll have so much clover generation that we'll just have maximum health and we don't really need the survivability from crown. Unless we go against a blind build. <laughs> And we have like no accuracy on the stone and we don't hit for shit. I mean, I guess the thorn blues eventually will, will start hitting and kill, right? It does slow down a luck generation, you're right. Where are we putting the bird though? We put the bird into the stone, right? All right, we'll do that. We'll sell you. Sell this, get the bird, sell crown, get space. Otherwise, I can't fit bird anywhere. This would not be a bad spot, actually, because it's, it's touching the stone. It's touching three blueberries. We just got to figure out another spot for the cards. We can figure this out. Well, the stone can't move because the bird, right? So stone can't move. Birds on the berries and giraffes. That's not a bad. I mean, it's on two giraffes unless we move it like. Then it's not on the berries anymore unless we move the berries down there. Uh. We can move you here and reserve this, put this somewhere else. Cause that could just stay like that, right? Unless we keep it up here. Cause we still need you to go somewhere. What is ammo? I don't know what ammo is. What is ammo? Ammo of energy is ammo. <laughs> I know it's rotated down. I don't want it to like... I was figuring that was going to grief. Or something. Maybe it won't. I guess it will. Never mind. I feel like we have to buy this leather bag. You know what would help? Crit wood staff. <laughs> I mean, we're going to crit, right? As long as our clover generation is really high, we'll crit. Once these blueberries start going off. Damn, we forgot about this guy. Yeah, once our blueberries start going off, we should be fine. I think we have to buy this bag. Uh, yeah, we, we you definitely have. Because we need to, we need a space for the, the cards and for the, the healing herbs. So we have to buy this bag. We can put this on. That wouldn't be smart. We could put it on a giraffe. Would that be bad, actually? Do we want this to proc faster than 2.1? It just needs to be slower than 1.5. Because if this procs before this flips, then we're getting infinite regeneration. But I, I guess we don't want to risk that chance, right? I don't think we, think we want to risk that chance. So what do we put this on? We don't want to do that because that's just going to be bad if it steals a buff beforehand. I mean, putting it on the Thorn Blue wouldn't be bad. Like, it'll give us an extra empowerment at the end of the day if it does proc. 
Is there a beep going off every so often? There shouldn't be. Does the stone have to be inside the stone bag or a hit? Or I can... Or I can I scale the damage on it after it's thrown? It's... I it's ideal that it's in, it's in the stone bag for you because like because when you hover like inside of the log the log shows dps and when you hover that shows dps if your stone crits on a hit you'll the log will show it as having a higher dps because it crits if it never crits then the highest dps will just be when you hover over the stone and you see the damage combined with the cooldown so i i don't know I guess it just depends on your build. There's a beep? I don't hear a beep. Is it a loud beep? I don't hear a beep. <laughs> I literally don't hear a beep. What kind of beep is it? I don't even... Oh, wait. It might be the notifications on my phone. <laughs> it's probably just the notifications on my phone. It's like a phone beep. It's a smoke detector beep. Hey. <laughs> it's literally not. It's literally. Wait a second. <laughs> All right, you guys are right. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, it's fucking beeping. It's beeping. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I y'all literally said something. Is it that loud? It's that loud? Y'all can hear it? That's crazy. It just went off again. <laughs> God damn it. We can go back to Golem Army. They need to add uh, an item in the game that's a mini go golem. Mini, mini golem would go crazy. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> I think we just rock with this. I don't think the build can get any better than this. It literally can't. Double Thorn Bloom. Leaf Badge. Acorn Coaler. The only way this gets better is with a Mana Orb. To just make these blueberries be faster. But after like 7 seconds, at the 7 second mark, these are starting generating clovers because all of these are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then another one, two, three, four, five. And then maybe even mana generation from the Heart of Darkness. Or Clovers. Depending on who we go against. We just have to pray for a good matchup with somebody that does not remove buffs. Perfect. Literally does not remove buffs. But my golly, that's a lot of fucking dragons. My man has five Ruby Whelps, a Crossblade, and a Piercing Arrow. Why do you have so many pigs on round 10? You could literally sell all of these. You could sell them all. No hardwood check. No burst check. No busted check. And no healing either. The flex. <laughs> the flex. For the flex. I just wish he had a little bit more survivability, I'm not gonna lie. Cause this guy has no survivability. Except Vampiric Armor, but that's really about it. He's he literally has no survivability. None. Two vampirism and a vampiric armor is, is all his survivability. It's a flex. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens here. Hey, 150 armor at the start of the game though, I guess. All right, infinite empowerment is a go. His crits hurt. My maximum health is freaking awesome though. 68. Jesus Christ, don't kill the guy too fast. All right, blueberry should be, uh, there goes all that clover generation. Giraffes are happy. I think we can get up to 60 empowerment before he dies. Sixty six, seventy, seventy two, one hundred and eighty two damage stone hit ninety two damage a second. We just hit the guy for one hundred and eighty two damage at the end there. Stone four hundred and seven damage, thirty one damage a second. 
or rather 92 97 damage a second that's what we'll, we'll mark this as the 97 damage a second stone 